Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix corrupt content files error. It occurs frequently when you're downloading or you're starting the game and you get this error. So there are a couple ways to fix it, so let's begin without further ado. So we're gonna first go to the Windows search bar and we're going to type in Steam. We're going to right click on the Steam app and we're going to click on run as administrator. So we're going to confirm it and we're going to run it. So this on its own could already fix your issue, but it is not guaranteed. So here comes the fix number two. We're going to go to the library once the Steam opens up. We're going to go to the game that we have issues with. So in my case, it's going to be Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I'm going to right click on this game, I'm going to click properties, and then I'm going to go to install, install files. Now this could be any type of files because different games have different namings for these categories right here on the left side. It could be local files installed files all kinds of files but usually it has a files ending then you're going to go to the bottom where you're going to see verify integrity of game files you're going to click on this it usually takes one to two minutes it will basically delete all corrupted files and replace them with the new ones this will not alter any conflicts that you have with on the game so no worries and it just install uh, just you know removes and replaces the files that you urgently need now this could already fix your issue but not necessarily so we're gonna go again to fix number three. We're gonna go to the top uh, left corner to Steam. We're going to click on settings. We're going to go down to downloads on the left side. And then we're gonna scroll down all the way until we can see clear download cache. We're going to click clear cache. We're gonna click confirm. And this usually takes another one to two minutes to clear the cache. This is basically all the redundant information that you get from the game, but it's stored there in case you need to, you know, rerun uh, like a game and it actually runs faster if you have some cache stored. But uh, usually it's uh, uh, like a center or epic center of the problems. So definitely make sure to clear the download cache. So another thing that you can do is you can temporarily disable your antivirus software. And another thing that I found that works really well is if you go to Windows search bar and you type in Windows Firewall, um, then you can click on this and then you, you can click to on Windows Defender Firewall properties and then you can disable the firewall for that time so just uh, click here on off then select apply and then hit OK afterwards then run the, the game to try to download or run and that should essentially fix the issue and I think that's pretty much last resort what you can do if that doesn't work you can also reinstall the game and if that doesn't work, you can reinstall the Steam. But make sure that when you're reinstalling the Steam, that you tick off the option to remove the games from the Steam folder, because you don't want to reinstall all the games. This is how usually you lose all the everything that you have in the Steam folder, and you should be careful when this option pops up in case you go for the reinstalling the entire Steam. So another thing that you can do is you can go to the Steam in the top left corner, you can click settings, and you can go down to the storage, then select the disk that where you have your game that you have issues with. Then click on these three dots here on the right and click repair folder. This will usually take one to two minutes, maybe sometimes even more. It will replace the, the corrupt game files of the entire folder. And sometimes this is much better than just verifying the integrity of game files. 